we would go to uh, to Vince and we would tell him, hey, you know what? Uh, can we can we work on this or something? And then after a while, we had to realize that we had to make it as if it was Vince's idea. I mean, that brings me to my next question. Uh, you are obviously a great wrestling mind, you, as you just uh, proved. Also, you're a great wrestler. You've trained so many great wrestlers. What makes someone like Vince McMahon look at you and say, you or let's say LA Knight or someone like Leo Rush and say, this guy is a manager going forward, not a wrestler. See, here's, and here's the thing, and it, it kind of goes back to, to something like we discussed earlier. I am not Vince. I don't know how his brain works. I can see how something works, but like I, 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 I forget who says something along the lines of like I can look at a car and then admire it and then understand the functions of it. But if you tell me, hey, build a car, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to build a car. I can tell you, hey, if I put this key in here and I turn it, I know it's going to start the car. Oh, it also needs gas, uh, and it's not going to run unless it has tires. But if you ask me to build one, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know the actual full details of the mechanics of how something works. Um, but I, I was very lucky that I sat in on a lot of meetings with Vince and then similar to what Jericho said in his interview with Tyler Gordy. Um, I, I hope I said his name right. Um, and I've, I've seen it, I've seen it where you pitch something because we, <laughs> Whenever we had, whenever we had a story that that or something that would come to us from one of the writers, and we're like, uh, it just doesn't really, mm, it doesn't fit the character, like, or it doesn't make sense. Um, we would go to uh, to Vince, and we would tell him, hey, you know what? Uh, can we can we work on this or something? And then after a while, we had to realize that we had to make it as if it was Vince's idea. Uh, <laughs> But but the way we, we would place it or we would throw something out there and then he, he would just like Jericho said, uh, he would just kind of like sit there and just kind of like listen and, and pause. And then he would take the idea and then just tweak it just a little bit. And then you're like, oh, yeah, that yeah, of course. Um, so when Jericho said that, I was like, it just took me back to the meetings with, with Vince and the writers and everybody. Uh, Cause that's how crazy and, and amazing the mind of Vince was. Um, but I, I was very thankful that I got to sit in on those and I got to hear that. Um, and then what I was very thankful for when Alberto was there was, when we were there, excuse me, especially when we first started, was Freddie Prince Jr. was there as a writer. And he was assigned to us. He was he was our writer. Um, and then, he, which was great because Freddie Prince is of Cuban descent. Uh, so he understands the mind of a Latino, which was great because never again did we have that ever after that. Um, so he wrote he wrote for us as a Latino, and it was very needed. It was something that helped us out a lot. And obviously Alberto added his little mix to it, his little twist to it. Um, but but yeah, it was, it was great. But I, I I enjoyed I enjoyed working with Vince. Um, there was a lot of times where where something that I wasn't too fond of, especially when once I was with RVD, um, something that the writers would kind of come up, and I'm like uh, I, I don't know if this works with them. So I would go to Vince directly, and I, yeah, I was scared. I was because it's Vince, and I was like, "Hey, uh, uh, Vince, can can I ask you something?" And then I would tell him, you know, da 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 da. And then he's like, "That's a good idea, kid. All right." And then he would tell me whatever. He would add to it, and then off we went. Um, like the 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 RVD shirts, I hated. I didn't want to wear a tux uh, with RVD because it doesn't fit. So I went up to Vince. I was like, "Hey, do you do you think we should change this?" Um, because RVD is more laid back, and then if I'm coming out in a tuxedo with RVD, I don't know, can we do something about it? And I don't know how the idea of like the because I was wearing t shirts with RVD's uh, um, airbrushing on it, I don't know how that idea came about, but I, I know it came from asking Vince if I can change from a tuxedo because I don't want to wear a tuxedo with, with RVD. Um, but yeah, that was just one of those things, uh. But it was it was great. It was super great. I, I enjoyed my, my my time with Vince. I really did. You brought up something very interesting uh, because uh, none of us know how the uh, creative process at WWE works. So, if a writer is assigned to you, how do how does that happen? I mean, do they understand your character? Do they speak to you for a really long time and try to understand who the person behind the character is and stuff like that? 
I, I think that the only time that, and I could be wrong, uh, I believe that the only time that we had a writer that was specifically for us was Freddie Prince Jr. Um, and again, I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, that he was the only one that was strictly for Alberto. Um, I know, I believe he was there before, but once Alberto came on, I think they were like, all right, just write for Del Rio and then we'll go from there. Uh, for the most part, we had different writers uh, throughout, throughout our time. And yeah, they would talk to us, or they would talk to Alberto, they would talk to myself, whatever. And then, um, so they would give us like like a, an, an idea and then Alberto would just kind of go and like, well, uh, especially because at the beginning, Alberto was still, you know, struggling with English. So there was a lot of words that they were right for him that, that he didn't know the meaning of, or he didn't know how to pronounce it right. Or he was, so he would ask me, he'd say, hey, how do you, what's, what's a different word for this that's easier? So it was easier for him to remember. Um, and obviously now he's fine. Now he's he's great at it. And um, but uh, but yeah, this is also twelve years ago. So a lot of time that's passed in twelve years. And so I would tell him, I was like, well, change this word to this, and it'll be easier and then easier to understand. Um, but but yeah, eventually with time, it just got easier, and then we would just we wouldn't get like full scripts. We would just get like little pinpoints and bullet points, and then we just kind of did our own thing. Um, but that's also that was also kind of nice because they, that's when they trusted you to just make it your own. Um, they can you can have you can have a great a good script, but if you don't have good actors, the script is gonna be garbage. Uh, you can be a great director, but if your actors are horrible, it's gonna be a crappy movie. Uh, and I am really I, I really do believe that Alberto was a great actor for the script that was given to him. He was great, you know, at, at doing what he was doing. And I'm not just saying that because he's my friend or he's my my, my partner in, on TV, but I really do think he was. And um, but no, 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 no. We we had multiple we had multiple writers. The only one that we had for us was Freddie, that I know that I know of. It's interesting because uh, I mean we have a Road Dog do a weekly show for Sportsida nowadays, and uh, he was the head writer for SmackDown, mm -hmm. and he just told us how uh, Bray Wyatt has a separate writer who only writes for Bray Wyatt. Uh, or used to rather when Bray Wyatt yeah. was still there. Uh, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, so as we wind down the interview, we spoke so much about Vince. I have to ask you this: Do you think he'll uh, beat the charges? I don't know. Um, the the more I think about it, and I mean, in the country that we're in, obviously those those things unfortunately don't matter, uh, and it's it's a shame. But uh, as, as it was said, I mean, legally. It's just, you can't get him on it legally. It's morally wrong, yes, of course. Um, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Um, I he's Vince has come on top on so many different things. And I, I feel like he's gonna end up being, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I can't tell you, I don't know. But wasn't, I, I mean, the, the news came out and the first thing he did was he came out on SmackDown and he got a promo. Yeah, I mean, interesting. yeah. Uh, um, and then the, the funny thing, if the rumor was true of what he said after when he came to the back, yeah. if that was true, I fully 100% believe it. Um, I fully 100% believe it because I, I, as soon as I read that, I heard it in my head and I was like, yeah, yeah I, I believe it. I, I believe he would have said that. Um, so I, I, I don't know. Okay, my, my, heart uh, goes out to, you know, my heart goes out to everybody who was affected by it, obviously, you know, and, and it's a shame. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a tough one. Okay, man. And uh, so just to wind down, you are a busy man. You have a lot of dates coming up. Can you tell our viewers about it? Yeah, I have a lot of dates here in Pennsylvania uh, coming up. And uh, the, the, everything that we're, we're going and working for right now is a huge major event that's on August 20th in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at the Clipper Magazine Stadium. Um, it's something we've been working on for a couple months and we have a couple months more to, uh, two more months, a month already, wow, a month ago. Um, we're gonna have, you know, myself, uh, Fandango, Santino Morella, Alberto Patron, and the WWE Hall of Famer, you know, Rob Van Dam. So I'm super excited to be a part of that. Uh, we have a lot of talent from, from the surrounding area. 
uh, here in central Pennsylvania. So I'm super excited to bring in like the, the, the local talent that will be mixed in with, you know, a lot of wrestlers that, you know, they saw on TV and, and to fill up a, a, a baseball stadium, that's going to be super fun. And I'm super excited. And we have a whole lot more, more plans coming up. Uh, I'm eventually going to open up my own school, uh, down the line. I'm working on that. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for what the future holds. So uh, I found it very interesting that when it comes to Alberto, he has to change his name, but you are still Ricardo Rodriguez on all the posters, right? Uh, well, how is that yeah. Happening? Well, I mean, uh, they, they, they cannot take Rodriguez from me. That's my real last name. So they can't take that from me. Um, and then the R Ricardo part, so long as I'm not using it on TV. And then here's the thing too. Like I've told many times, I've told promoters many times, like I, I can't be Ricardo. My name is Jesus. And then they always announce me as Ricardo. So long as it's not on TV, I basically can use it, I, I guess. Amazing, man. And just to wind down, you mentioned his name. Uh, do you want to see Ric Flair wrestling at 73? I'm excited for him. Uh, I, I can tell you firsthand that itch of wrestling never goes away. Um, I, 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 In my head, I contemplated leaving wrestling so many times, but I, I know myself, I can't. I can. It's it's. I'm 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 an addict as 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 Eddie Guerrero once put it. Like yeah, I am an addict. I'm a I'm an addicted to the high. I'm addicted to to the rush, the adrenaline, the, the the people. That's what gets me addicted, and that's what keeps me coming back. And that's why I don't plan on on stopping. This is one addiction that I'm okay with, and that's for wrestling. Come here, come to the bed. Come here, come to the bed.